It got started about six years ago when I went to the United Nations and I met with a group of girls and they said, we want our own day. And I said, well, we have International Women's Day. And they said, well, that's not good enough. We want a day just focused on issues that matter to girls. Well, I think they had a really good point. Girls around the world are repressed, they're oppressed, they suffer from lack of equality, lack of access to education. There are millions of girls around the world who can't go to school. So I thought their cause was worthy of championing and I thought if we can work together to make something like this happen, it would be wonderful. I had to stand up and ask for unanimous support for this motion. And everyone just said, yes, of course. It was a great day and the message was for the international community to come together to support the International Day of the Girl. And to be frank, that's when all the hard work started because not everybody is as excited about creating a day about girls' rights than other countries. So it was, it was a lot of hard work. It took a lot of lobbying. It took a lot of meetings. Believe it or not, a day of the girl child is actually controversial. For instance, we did get quite a bit of resistance from some countries in Africa and some countries in the Middle East. What I found is that countries started to think about this day as an opportunity for them to talk about some of the more difficult issues that they may not be able to talk about, an opportunity for girls and women to uh, have a chance to come out into the public. Hooray! <laughs> it was great because it was a ton of work and it was a lot of work for I mean, people behind the scenes too, people at the Foreign Affairs Department here in the Government of Canada, uh, people at, in Plan International, um, and in the end it passed and it was a great day for girls. I think this day will be important for a long time because we still have a situation in, in the world, globally, where girls are continue to be oppressed. Girls continue to suffer from discrimination. They continue to suffer particularly lack of access to education. It affects the whole world. So this is half the population of the world. And the younger that we start these kinds of uh, discussions, the more uh, opportunities and potential we can offer these girls. And I see it as, as a wonderful thing because we can talk to girls as young as seven and eight about their rights and their right to education. Uh, so it's a, a wonderful initiative and it should be something that every country celebrates every year. Mm -hmm.